Winning on all fronts this week. A lot of great stuff this week. First and foremost, we raised $600 for Children's Hospital uh, through Extra Life Charity in our 24-hour stream. Huge thank you to everyone who donated. Uh, big thanks to everyone who uh, kept me company ver through various parts of the 24-hour stream. We couldn't have done it without all of you. Um, I believe that the donations are still live through uh, January 14th, so if you wanted to donate and weren't able to, um, I'll leave a link down in the description below. And now um, we'll get on with what I think everybody tuned in for, which is the week's racing recap. It's a little late, I know. We did a 24-hour stream. I hope you'll uh, cut me a little slack here. Um, this week was uh, Watkins Glen uh, with their little TCRs. Um, I think I have become a bit of an evangelist for these front-wheel drive race cars. Participation has really gone up uh, through the latter part of the week. and. Um, I think that's because it's a great combo, uh, this track and this car. We got our uh, race times down a little bit. We started out with our best lap on our first race being a 120.553. Uh, we got that down to a best race time of 120.012. And then our best uh, practice lap was 119.997. So around the same uh, best times there. Um, our average start was seventh, our average finish was, was, was eighth, which is pretty standard um, for our average throughout this entire series, it seems. Um, race stats incoming. Did you notice something there? Here, have another look. That's right, not one, but two wins. Now, those wins were predicated on a couple things. I think they both had either a two or a three-way split, so we weren't racing the crazy, crazy quick guys. And then secondly, we got out ahead of everybody fairly early on. In the first win that we had, we got out ahead of everybody on the launch. Go, go, go. Yep, there we go. I think we got this, boys and girls. At least for a while. As long as we can keep our pace going. The second time, it was during lap two when everybody around us decided to take each other out. Now, in that second race, we were doing okay up until we got out ahead of everybody, but I imagine had that crash not happened, uh, we probably would have fallen back a place, if not ended up crashing ourselves out uh, and taking us completely out of the race. But that's not what happened, and a win is a win. Green, green, green. All right, Josh, 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. I didn't see that number four car coming up on me. And this again. The same guy. The same guy.
where is Sergey in this race? Some spicy text chat going up there. Timothy there. I hope I didn't netcode him. Okay. I don't know how to turn the... How do you turn the text chat off? All right, what kind of pace do we have on Christopher? It's kind of like a NASCAR race where I just, or not NASCAR, uh, oval race where by, by dodging all the carnage, I've managed to pull into first. In that same race, we were around this extremely brightly colored car. And I was a little worried because we had a race with him earlier in which um, my perhaps overly aggressive driving combined with my inability to read um, his a little bit erratic driving uh, caused this to happen. We've gotten to 120s, but 120s are our good laps. Fighting all these guys is... Slowing us down quite a bit. This was kind of emblematic of a lot of my issues this week, pushing for a position that maybe my driving skills didn't allow me to get, and in retrospect, I shouldn't have pushed quite so hard for. I'm much more comfortable in the middle of the pack. Oh boy.
there were a few points in some of the higher strength of field races where I was actually able to get some moves done. Uh, to me, that's a lot more exciting than the races I did win, where most of my time was spent in clean air, just trying not to let the guys behind me catch up too quickly. So here's some of those highlights. Sector 2 is 1.2 seconds. Yeah, Car crap. left. Clear left. I don't know if that was a clean move or if I was forcing him out. Brilliant. Nice one. He went wider and there was an Audi-sized hole. Oh, and another one for Russ. It all kind of depends on how well or poorly I do. If we have a massive funny crash, it'll probably make it in. So there you go. Three wins this week. The biggest one for charity, and then two more on the track. Now, next week we'll be at Suzuka East. Um, I don't know what participation will be like. Uh, it seems like it really ramped up towards the end of this week. I don't know if that's because it was a super fun combo, or if our little uh, advocacy for this front-wheel drive race car had something to do with it. If you want to join up and be part of our journey here, getting better at uh, driving this little TCR for the rest of the season, uh, hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell, head on over to twitch.tv slash thepiltdownman to follow along live, and then until next time, uh, we do have all these videos which should be appearing here shortly. Until then, um, we'll see you next week. Bye.